a WhatsApp spoil here and this video is going to be an app review of this very amazing ai art generator known as imagine ai art generator as you can already tell from this screen recording here this app can be freely downloaded from the play store so simply let me go ahead and open it now whether it's your first time opening this app or you're a regular user like me you're still going to get this very option but simply uh, select the back option if you're not going to subscribe for the premium version now in terms of the user interface this is how the app looks like very simple direct and easy to use user interface now if you prefer the dark mode of this very app you can go to options then you're going to see an option of the dark mode you simply activate this then from here you're ready to start using the dark mode all right so having activated the dark mode let me take you through the other amazing features that you're able to get while using this app now of course as you can see the first option here is the enter prompt option so simply here you input the prompt of the ai ad that you want to create right so you tap here and then you can input your prompt right now still here on the enter prompt option as you can see there are three more options and the first one here basically what it does when you select it as you can see it's going to automatically create for you some prompts right now leaving that aside as you can see right here this other option here it's the second from the right this one here when you tap on it as you can see this will bring up this option where you can get to know the prompt that was used to generate a particular ai ad so what you can do is you can simply upload an image for instance from your gallery and see which prompt you would have used to get such an image so you select here as you can see i'm using the free version and i'm still left with three trials so you can go to gallery then you select an image for instance let me select this one right here then as you can see they will be showing you that generating prompt and as you're seeing this is the same prompt that you can use to generate this kind of image right now still on this page as you can see they're going to bring for you some sample images right here so you can scroll through and get an image that you'd like to know the prompt that was used to generate it and of course this is going to help you become an expert in generating prompts so you can select an image from here for instance i select this and as you can see still they will be showing you generating prompt all right so this is how you can simply get to know the different prompts that were used to generate a specific ai ad right so let me simply go back and quit this option now again still here on the enter prompt option as you can see there's also this kind of croc or history option and when you tap on it it's going to show you a history of the prompts that you have been generating so as you can see it's the prompt history and these are the prompts i've been using so you can simply go ahead and copy a prompt then you can paste it wherever you want to start using it now moving on from the enter prompt section still on the home page there's also this option of model and styles and here simply you have to select the different models that you want to use so for instance when i tap on this model option as you can see there are a few models here that you get to select from of which my favorite here is the creative one right so going back to the home page as you can see there's also this add styles option you select it and here there are very many styles you're able to choose from depending on which style you'd like your ai generated art to appear in now continuing on the home page options the next one here is the aspect ratio option now if you're using the free version you're only able to use this one to one aspect ratio so if you try to use other ratios you again ask pay but that shouldn't be a very big problem because with the one to one aspect ratio still you're able to generate very amazing images now to move from that there's also this other option of advanced settings and here you select advanced settings and uh, you get more settings here basically you're able to use most of these settings here if you're using the premium version after the advanced options as you can see of course there's this other option of generate now to generate an image simply go ahead and tap on the generate option tap on it if you're using the free version like me you may be disturbed by very many annoying ads but you can decide to use an ad broker like i'm doing all right so as you've seen our image has been generated and of course this is the prompt that was input previously now still on the results page there are a few options you should know about for instance there's this edit input option where you can go ahead and edit your prompt then there's also the generate more option and this one will help you create more variants of the prompt right now apart from that you can also save this generated image directly to your phone now of course if you're using a free version you're able to save an image only that it will appear with the watermark of this ai art generator so you select save and as you can see they'll show you that the image is saved now still on the home page as you can see there's this other option of inspirations and basically here to show you all the different images that have already been created using this ai art generator so in case you see an image and you want to know how it was created you simply have to tap an image then you go to this option of try this you tap on try this and after doing this they'll show you the prompt that was used to generate this image and also the different options that were used in generating this very image right 
So now apart from that, as you can see down here, there's this other option of toolbox. Now in the toolbox option, as you can see, there are three amazing features. The first one is the image remix option. So simply this is like the image to image option in case you're using the other AI art generators. Now to use this image remix option, simply tap on it. And then here, as you can see, you have to upload an image. So tap on upload, then uh, select the different images you have. For instance, you see there are different options. There's Google and Splash, then Gallery. In case you want to use your gallery, for instance, for me, select gallery. Then from here, you're able to choose the different images that you want. So for instance, I can select this, then you apply this. Now after this, you input your prompt. Then you can go through these other options like I've showed you previously. And finally, select the generate option. And here, a new image is going to be generated depending on the prompt that you input. Now aside from the image remix option, there's also this in painting option, which I've rarely used. So in case you try out this app and find that you're very good at using this very feature, then kindly go in the comment section and share with us what you understand about this very feature. Now finally on the toolbox, you're going to get this batch upscale option. This is an option that is only available in the pro version and basically what it does, it's going to increase the resolution of your photos. Otherwise, this is everything you need to know as far as using Imagine AI at generator for your Android device. I catch you in the next one. Peace and love.